there are maharatna navaratna and mini ratna in public sector undertaking okay now here what happened you now these are all coming under ministry of heavy industries or and public enterprises okay now what happened the government grants the status of navaratna mini ratna and maharatna to public sector undertaking based on certain performance that is uh, you know this maharatna category continuously i think you know average turnover should be 25000 crore see this figure is earlier fixed earlier now i don't know the current this thing i not seen that but uh, you will get some brief idea about this so average turnover to become eligible you know as maharatna company annual turnover should be 25000 crores like indian oil corporation ongc gale and other things you know bpcl all these things then average uh, net worth should be 16000 crore okay then uh, okay that i told you then uh, yes all you at uh, then those who want to become you know jump into you know this maharatna company already you are in the category of navaratna company so i told you currently the level of financial you know they are getting certain financial autonomy for each and everything it is not necessary to go to the government for approval so certain financial autonomy also they are granting so in our country uh, you know a public undertaking is a government owned see even this public sector undertaking majority in public sector undertaking the shares are held by the president of india Pre- but no, don't think that president of india will give come for attending the board meeting or something no he will send his uh, nominee or whatever is there okay now um, here uh, this company equity is major i told you know majority is held by the government of india and hence the public sector undertaking okay the need for setting uh, the public sector okay that is okay then uh, uh, you know what i mean by categorization of maharatna navaratna and mini ratna i will just tell you there are highly profit making companies like uh, this is earlier this thing and there will be variation because uh, because every year each company is making profit and they are jumping from one category to another category the first category is maharatna company example bharat heavy electricals limited is a maharatna company example i am just telling giving you call india limited gate gas authority of india limited indian oil corporation limited ntpc national thermal power corporation limited oil and natural gas corporation limited that is ongc next sail steel authority of india and next bharat petroleum corporation limited that is you know they, they are, sometimes you know from navaratna they are uh, jumping to because of the productivity and many other things you know variation take place actually so example i just gave you uh, gave you that uh, because you know for your guidance only now coming to navaratna company navaratna company see the company must have mini ratna category already category 1 i will tell you in mini category mini ratna there are two categories that i will tell you later on so to become navaratna status you should be already in mini ratna category 1 status along with a schedule a listing it should have three excellent the parameters very good and memorandum understanding with uh, for the last 5 years with the government mou with the government three they are giving certain marks uh, that i will tell you or which are the parameters one net profit net worth na- and uh, manpower cost cost to production gross margin and capital employed gross profit as turnover earning per share maximum that is according to that they are giving the grade marks that is three excellent should be there then they will become become navaratna category it varies you know now every year you know they are making improvements now some uh, then intersectoral comparison based on net profit to net worth now here 
example of navaratna company exam maharatna i already told you navaratna company and uh, listen to this carefully and this is uh, outside the you know your uh, topic so as to benefit uh, some of the people who are appearing for civil service now there are 16 navaratna at present they, maybe it is you know 16 or 17 or 18 because every year you know based on the profit and the net profit or whatever it is going on now example navaratna navaratna center public sector enterprise bharat electronics limited container corporation of india engineers india limited hindustan aeronautic hjl mtnl mahanagar telephone nigar limited navely lignet national building construction corporation oil india limited power finance corporation rashtriya uh, that is you know ispath nigam limited steel then power grid corporation rural electrification corporation uh, limited shipping corporation of india limited these are the 16 now it may be sometimes 17 or 18 okay but idea i am just giving you now coming to mini ratna mini ratna means profit is very less it is categorized into one and two mini ratna category one that is can for the long net profit is 30 crores 30 crores for the last three years uh, you know among no, sorry 30 crores or more in one of the three years last three years 30 crores okay and these are that means out of the last three years at least one year 30 crores and there are 60 such companies at present now category two these companies have made profit continuously for that means some profit not loss continuously for the last three years and have a positive net worth there are 15 companies like that okay there are 15 companies like that category one and category two there are many but here one thing i am just telling you uh you know border directors they are playing a vital role you know the uh they cannot spend it too much because they are you know in the borderline and the category one public sector undertaking airport authority of india category one andrex corporation of india balma lori bml bar the sanjar nigan limited bar the dynamics limited hyderabad and the cochin shipyard like that like that like that so many okay and uh, you know mahanadi coal fields mazgon dog bombay mr dattu nigam limited hyderabad like that so category one now category two there are so many category one 60 companies category two 15 companies that is just making profit for the last some profit for the last three years artificial limbs manufacturing corporation of india limited bar the pumps and compressors limited hmt about hmt i just want to tell you central rail side uh, warehousing corporation rajasthan electronics and instruments limited like that like that then uh, broadcast engineering consultants india limited then mekon limited minerals exploration corporation limited national national feeling development corporation now here what i want to tell you that uh, about hmt and other thing i will tell you that for capital expenditure for incurring any capital for these two categories one two capital expenditure they have to take the government approval because they are in the, uh, not uh, they are not making that much profit so they, for incurring capital expenditure then joint venture subsidiaries then merger and acquisition then scheme for uh, hrd and uh, two rubber order functional directors because they cannot uh, go for training and other thing only for essential purpose they can go because they are making less profit uh, technology joint ventures and strategical and they have to approach the government now the one thing which i want to tell you that i told you maharatna i told you navaratna i told you two categories of mini ratna there is sick unit there are sick units there are many many there are sick units many you take the example of fact is a sick company don't think that for the last two three years there is some operational profits are there, but there is accumulated loss. Remember this. 
and uh, HMT is a loss making company. Out of uh, all units only, HMT Kalamashiri is making little profit, operational profit. There are nine HMT plant. Then Indian telephone industry is sick unit. But of course, in Palgard, ITA is making little operational profit, but it will not be counted because they will balance sheet uh, will be for nine uh, subsidiaries, you know, the companies, only one balance sheet. Though they are having nine units, balance sheet will be one. So though you are making operational profit, uh, it won't be reflected, uh, you know, as a profit in your uh, balance sheet. Because they will, in total, you know, whatever, uh, you know, uh, completely they there to see. Then, uh, the, so, now, loss-making companies, Hindustan Cycles Limited, scooters in the, the, these are all from my memory, okay? National Tech Corporation, Instrumentation Limited, like that, like that, like that, many companies are there. Okay, now, sick unit. Now, here, one important thing, which I want to convey to you, that... If some sick units are de as declared, you know, not profiting or making loss or whatever is there, they cannot do any wage increase or wage revision without the approval of the government because they will not have money to pay. The wage revision, not every five years or something because they are incurring loss. In National Tax Corporation for the last 15 years and uh, Scooter Siddha Limited for the last 20 years, in the cycle for the last 30 years, making laws. So you cannot have, have the wage revision or the benefit which others are getting. So because, you know, incurring laws, incurring laws due to various reasons. We don't know. Sometimes mismanagement also, sometimes some other technology, even in National Tech Corporation is because they are outdated missionaries and other things, you know, obsolete, uh, you know, this thing. Now, nowadays, so many other competitors are also, they are unable to survive. And another thing that sick unit, voluntary retirement and subject to approval of the government because if people opt for voluntary retirement, who will pay? One gentleman, you know, sometimes 25 lakhs to 30 lakhs, uh, they will get it. Because gratuity can be accumulated, you know, up to 18 lakhs or 20 lakhs or something like that. So, like that, plus other terminal benefit. So, 30 lakhs or 35 lakhs will come for because the person who rendered service for 33 years and opting for VR. Uh, so he will be entitled for 35 crore, uh, 35 lakhs or something. So for that, the unit or the organization should be able to pay. So whoever is run, uh, you know, opting for run retirement, they will be in the wait, waiting list. Whenever the organization gets funds from the government, uh, either by of uh, aid or loan or whatever is there, then they can pay salary and other things. So we, it should be not only other than that, and still, if they cannot survive, they, they will uh, go to, uh, you know, national, what is that, you know, reconstruction or something, the board or something. Uh, and for that, you know, for declaring sick, there is a pro, uh, formula. Uh, when the government wants to declare a unit as sick unit, there are certain criteria that we have to follow. This is the thing I don't want to elaborate fully because uh, maybe... Thank you, sir. <laughs> okay. And if you want more details, you can ask more. Because, you know, why I'm telling, maybe others are not, uh, uh, you know, uh, interested to hear, perhaps. So, I don't know. I don't know. So, for your, this thing, benefit, I just uh, told you, because it is civil service and other thing you are appearing, so you should keep in mind. But the figure which I caught, uh, always, you know, the fluctuation will take place because everything is categorized based on the performance of a public sector undertaking. Sometimes this year, if they make loss, sometimes you know, next year they will make huge profit. So automatically, from one category to another category, it will go. But generally, I'm telling these are the criteria fixed by Ministry of Heavy Industries, Government of India, P Department of Public Enterprises. So rural development, concepts and uh, strategies. And uh, <clears throat> here, introduction. I will tell you only the brief of this thing. Uh, subject of rural development has gained wide, you know, <clears throat> uh, yes, um, in a widespread appeal in recent years. So, in fact, uh, half an hour back, I was taking another class for some other subject there also. Rural development um, 
programs in uh, Brazil, South Africa, China, and uh, Brazil, you know, sorry, this uh, India, like uh, five countries, you know, I was just discussing there in other uh, subjects. So here, uh, everybody gives a lot of importance for the development of rural sector because, you know, rural sector, a lot of uh, poverty, everything is there. He poverty is that country cannot progress at all. So everybody is concentrating in this and a lot of, uh, you know, importance is given in the recent past. Then uh, centrality of rural development in facilitating, facilitating the process of overall development of the citizen. Okay. So that is a, uh, you know, essence of the so overall uh, improvement of each and everybody. Not only that, to create better, you know, having uh, living condition in rural area. You are, you should not uh, see even our nearby areas or something, but there, is, there are certain areas where, you know, there is no electricity, no water, nothing is there. So it is the duty of the government to create better living condition in rural area. And... Um, not only some, you know, sometimes what happened, we had to relocate uh, surplus labor also sometimes, you know, it is already happening. Whenever, you know, the agricultural, uh, the, thing, the season comes, you know, from Bihar, Jharkhand and other people, you know, from there people are coming, uh, relocating, and uh, here, and after completion of that, they are returning back. Like that, it is happening throughout the country. In 1914, for example, 40 million people migrated from Europe. So there is movement of human being also, you know, from one place to another. But in 1914, 1914, 40 million people migrated from Europe. Okay. So like that, you know, people are migrating, you know that. Then concept of uh, rural development. Concept of rural development, primary objectives. Concept of rural development, primary objectives. To improve the living standards by providing food, shelter, clothing, employment, and education. One, or one objective. That is primary objectives of rural development. See, question will come in this. Eh? Rural development, question will come. And, uh, you know, there are 50, uh, 40 marks. There are 15 marks. Uh, you know, again, 15 marks. Like that. So... Kindly write properly, I told you, how to write all this thing. And you, if you see, last 10 minutes, I will reserve for your queries. Kindly ask whatever question you are having. You can, you are uh, at liberty to ask those questions. I will try to clarify it. So, uh, though uh, number of people are less, but uh, I think it is regarded by the regional office and uh, perhaps it will be uploaded as they were doing earlier. Okay. But... Uh, the opportunity of attending this class is that if you have any doubt, you are you can ask and it will be clarified. Otherwise, you know, uh, the record, uh, recorded message, whatever class, you can hear whatever, whatever I said, whatever others said, actually. Okay. So, uh, anyway, I am thankful to you. I, have, I was watching that you are all very regular. I am very grateful to you. And uh, I wish you all the best. I hope... Uh, uh, the classes will be benefited. I don't know. You can give feedback also later on. And uh, now the primary objective of the rural development to improve the living standards of providing food, shelter, clothing, employment, and education. This is the one objective. Now, number two, to increase productivity in rural areas and reduce poverty. Second, third, see, this is very important. To increase productivity in rural areas and reduce poverty. Can I tell you one example? In Kalhandi, in Orissa, many people, you know, come, uh, suicide, you know, got dead, dead because of poverty once upon a time. Don't think that we are very, very prosperous or something like that. Some area will be prosperous, but we are also having a lot of problems due to poverty in many parts of the country. Okay? And uh, I told you, in Orissa, once upon a time, not now, once upon a time, there was starvation. And in each and every state, some something and always it is happening. So we have to take care of that and uh, reduce poverty. And uh, 
to involve people in planning and development through their participation in this that is panchayat raj system your participation either you become council member or panchayat gram sabha member and you can give your views and very good suggestions are accepted by them and they will try to implement it provided you know with the less financial uh, this thing burden and because their income is limited actually so then to ensure uh, you know distributive justice and equalization of opportunities in the society that also we have to ensure this rural development in almost everybody you know they should survive you know they should live comfortably that is the thing now rural development projects and programs in india you can see i am also little confused because the thing is that though i was taking the classes of rural development since long so many programs uh, you know government has announced either state government or central government and sometimes you know this is for what purpose this is for what purpose it has really confused because the names and other things you know and uh, but we, uh, of course it is good and the people are having a lot of benefits out of it but here thing rather than announcing many many programs and many many names and uh, many people are not aware of this the, and proper awareness should be given to the citizen so that they will be benefited out of it for example if you pay 12 rupees a uh, prime minister insurance and whatever in life insurance whatever insurance you know bank, bank account holders everything is there but many people are not knowing the same way medical treatment the prime minister is uh, this thing is scheme is there. some people are not knowing about that so general awareness is lacking so uh, our people or state government or other people should be uh, it is their responsibility to do, to uh, intimate this type of things uh, you know if somebody is very sick uh, suppose cancer or something like that lot of schemes are there announced by the government of india so that should be uh, known to the uh, ordinary people why ordinary means don't misunderstand ordinary here i have seen my own experience i am just telling you that uh, those who are in uh, uh, sometimes you know mal you know our uh, uh, you know uh, our uh, leaders small leaders small leaders i am just talking they know the various schemes announced by the government they will take advantage their own you know they will take themselves the advantage and uh, sometimes they will not uh, share those information with uh, other colleagues i have seen many times i don't want to tell this because uh, it is coming you know god and their basis this telecast so my opinion is that rather than taking yourself you know you you are taking advantage no problem at all but this is not only for you if you know that thing why don't you share this with your other deserving people see tb patients and and like and hiv uh, aids you know this thing patients how many schemes are there and uh, well water this thing everything adoption of villages how many things are there and housing and gas uh, you know cylinders and other things you know so many things are there. so it should be known these are all pertaining to rural development for your information okay community development acha here we are having again lot of community development schemes this is my opinion i am just telling you can read from your book it is very simple language they have written very nice this book see here i have <laughs> got other book it is a uh, bigsir uh, is required actually <laughs> I, i just took the class but your language is somewhat uh, you know little easy here there is no problem but uh, the standard sometimes you know it differs you know how they are writing and other thing the author and other thing you know okay the way of writing there are others like uh, many many others but uh, there are also others like uh, shaji tarur and uh, other be chetan uh, you know uh, you know uh, sharma or whatever is there you know their language is different 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 the books are also like that okay so community development uh, program what i am telling it started in 1950 1950 whether our community has developed uh, to the desired level what gandhi ji and other people you know 
whatever they made the projections and other thing whether it is going according to the planning commission uh, this thing five year plan or whatever is there that he, i am asking this question to you why i am telling uh though we are having lot of schemes announced by the state government or central government i will tell you a small story now when our cricket player sachin tendulkar one example is sachin tendulkar adopted a village of andhra pradesh gundu rising andhra pradesh he was so busy at that time he was playing but he just uh, entrusted the responsibility to some rela- uh, very nice uh, gentleman and um, you know uh, he adopted that village provided uh, water facilities for uh, all you know r- uh, you know this uh, uh, this thing electrification schools primary health centers and uh, you know so many other clinic uh, uh, and uh, sports activities and many other things you know and uh, uh, uninterrupted power supply uninterrupted water supply everything you know and that it was it became very prosperous village if a single person can do that dash 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 i am one just example now another example can i just tell you satya sai baba of course i have traveled through that area but i i didn't visit he adopted anandapur village or some in andhra pradesh and you know how he he only made the water supply everything there irrigation everything all facilities there if somebody can do do something and they are they can make uh, the village very very prosperous village why the local government or others can't do it this is a big question now the and lot of money is allocated for this where the money is going that is the thing of course we are not blaming anybody and uh, i have seen that you know no sometimes no development is taking place no some development in the cities and other thing you go to rural area no i am just telling you if i go to my village i cannot uh, uh, you know this uh, take even online class also even during covid uh, time and other thing total disruption of you know electricity and so many nothing was available or whatever is there. Uh, no facility was provided and so many things people suffered of course i didn't suffer and uh, because earlier whatever was there now also it is there. it was it is there i have not se- i have not seen any significant improvement during the past 50 years in my village which is one of the biggest villages in our district which is producing agriculture and providing to you know this civil supply department or whatever is okay now community development so i will just you know uh, to 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 make you aware certain things you know what we have to when when we get certain job what we have to but of course we can also do a lot when we are interested with this type of responsibility or if you are a village officer or a probation officer or some block development officer you can also do many things and here what i want to convey to you is that don't forget you are an indian first okay you are a different state or whatever is their religion what that is immaterial indian first and what i am telling whenever you are an officer or something or you are either in the state government or central government or whatever is there you know irrespective of anything you know you should be always a neutral person do justice to the community very honest job you have to do that is the advice which i want to give you because otherwise no use you are only getting salary from the taxpayer money or whatever is there and you are enjoying but no contribution to the society i know that there are a lot of hurdles we know very well corruption and many other things the, but no it doesn't mean that everybody has to do that no remember 
out of 100 percent or whatever is there only 10 percent people are working and that's why our country is surviving our state is surviving don't forget this. in an organization even everybody will not work sometime but only a certain base of person a 10 to 20 percent people are working and you are showing the profit and uh, you know and that profit everybody is getting the benefit also so if country is developing or the state is developing or company is developing everybody is benefiting you are getting the bonus you are getting the lower leave travel, travel concern all type of perquisite you will get now integrated rural development okay rural industrialization uh, so i will uh, just go through the uh, you know, inherently education you know health you know kindly remember one thing education is not only primary education there is secondary education also there is higher education also and uh, people after you know elementary or secondary people are stopping that way, you know and uh, higher education also very less number of people are going as uh, uh, many other areas also to uh, they are very less number so acquire whatever you know qualification you can and uh, i told you earlier also today or if it is not today, tomorrow it will be benefited. Without qualification, you cannot meet any challenges without proper skill. I am just telling you one small example from my side. I have, I am not a professional advocate or whatever is there. I am taking classes for LLB and LLM. Why? How? Tell me. I am not a professional this thing and UGC net, uh, I have not cleared, for, for me it was not required, I was holding the highest position in the government. But though I had not qualified I, UGC net, uh, but I was taking classes for UGC net uh, more, uh, more than 18 to 20 batches. How it is possible? It is possible. You should have willpower and confidence and uh, you should have, you know, that uh, in-depth knowledge of a particular subject. I think too, because that is called a challenge. Challenges are many. But, you know, now also, in my, I, I can just leave you, you know, also, so many courses I am taking. How it is possible? Within 20 minutes, you know, I am taking other courses. See, what, what I'm telling you, how, how it is possible? I am not qualified in each and everything, but with my confidence level, courage level, and, uh, you know, or deep knowledge, in particular, you know, subject or whatever is there, I'll be able to take that. So, here, what I'm telling, this we have to keep in mind, acquire more and more qualification, and max experience make them perfect. By doing the job, you can learn many things. Okay, now, education has a poverty, poverty uh, alleviation, okay? in Hindi, Garibi Hatao. Okay, then Diamonds of Rural Life, okay. And seven. Uh, now it is coming local level participation of rural development. That is 73rd and the 74th Constitution. Amendment. Very important rural development. This is a very important uh, constitutional amendment made by the center. 73rd and 74th, uh, uh, this thing. Okay, so that is, you know, uh, our uh, Gram Panjai, what is 73? Uh, that is Panjai, 73, 73rd Constitution Amendment, 1993. Listen to this carefully. Panjai Raj Bill provided for, and uh, among other things, Gram Sabha in villages, Constitution of Panjayat at the village and other levels, and uh, direct elections every five years to all seats in Panjayat and reservation of seats for the Shadu caste, Shadu tribe, women, Fix then uh, not only that fixing the tenor of Panjait Raj, uh, you know the five years. Now what is seven, 74th amendment? 74th amendment is Nagar Paliga Bill, Municipality Bill, Municipality provided a four that is that was passed in 1993. Other one was also passed in 1993. That is our uh, Panjait Raj Bill, 1993. Well, Nagar Paliga Municipality Bill also 1993. Provided for, among other things, constitution of three types of municipalities 
reserving reservation of seats in every municipality for the sc st women and backward classes no i am just giving you about a very important judgment and amendment see from mother book i am just uh, informing you in the 73rd and 74th amendment acts were introduced under narasimha rao government to give constitutional status to the establishment of panchayati raj institution okay and the constitutional amendment act provided for numerous noteworthy uh, features such as those making uh, you know elections mandatory to be held after every 5 years like that like that i already told you there will be a district planning committee okay and uh, grama sabha all this thing we already discussed then another point is uh, you know municipal uh, article 243 zd uh, that is the district planning committee then urban local municipality and the municipal act Nag that is nagar panchayat municipal in hindi then municipal corporation is also there and uh, you know the uh, previously you know uh, notified area committee town area committee special purpose agency township project then you know uh, cantonment board ambala trivandrum pathangot all the thing delhi old delhi yeah, it was you know military area so like there so many things were there so this is urban local bodies then how to constitute a municipality and a composition of municipalities the everything is mentioned in this amendment then ward committee reservation you know very well that uh, in our gram panchayat or uh, gram panchayat 50% seats are reserved for ladies okay in addition to other reservation 50% for women okay and uh, there are reservation in other categories also okay then duration i already told you powers authority lot of powers are there and uh, purpose to impose the panchayat municipality uh, you know they are empowered to impose tax and uh, audit of accounts also very essential election every five year these are some of the area which one which i want to communicate so local level participation of rural development i told you then another thing rural development strategies rural development strategies see policies rural development policy we will discuss first land technology agriculture employment education research and extension rural institution agricultural fixing agricultural prices higher productivity increasing employment opportunity to rural communities these points are to be included in this rural what is that while making the policy okay then uh, balanced growth of the agriculture sector can play an important role in uh, creating better a uh, con condition for those depending upon this agriculture sector then another aspect which uh, uh, types of rural strategies strategy based on cultivation of uh, uh, co no collectivization that cooper uh, cooperation of each and everybody then strategy based on regulated capital that is based on economic uh, this thing then strategy based on peace and that is farmers then strategy based on you know the unregulated free market sometimes market is not regulated you know today one price will be there sometimes you know tomorrow some other price will be there so these are the things in cooperative sector is also the cooperative institutions are there that is formed by certain individuals then rural development strategies rural development strategies what are the rural development strategies one agriculture research okay and uh, you know extension rural education training program farm the farmer should be you no know, farmer you will think uh, why they should be trained or something suppose a rubber how to cut how to take the milk and other things you know people should be aware of that you not know, the proper training should be given isn't it so 
uh, infrastructure building, program to imp uh, improve marketing facilities. When our product is there, how to, uh, where to go, uh, where to send uh, all, you know, the marketing condition, everything people should know. The policy related to land tenure. Sometimes what I mean, if land is not, uh, they're hiring land and uh, doing the cultivation also. So for that, they have to give some, you know, certain percentage of uh, their income to the owners actually. So this is the thing. Then rural development strategy. Another aspect is that local area planning through panchayat. So panchayat actually they have to play a vital role, which are the you know uh, where you know they have to so what they normally they are doing, you know, the panchayat. They are constructing some bus shed, bus shelter, some you know, uh, you know, something, 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 some uh, you know, library something, you know, minor things they are doing. But uh, whatever is needed by the people at that time, that, that they are not, uh, you know, spending money, maybe shortage of funds and other things. The proper planning to improve the local area is required. So, uh, rural development planning is very, very essential. Okay. So, here, economic growth of the rural sector is required. Better living conditions are required. Infrastructure facilities are to be improved. Employment generation has to be done. At, then attack on property also. That, you know, reduction of poverty, this is the end of this unit. Another unit is coming. Rural development experience and Asian perspective. This definitely you can expect question. Okay. Definitely, question will be there. I have got your old question papers here, and uh, there was not even a single question uh, paper, you know, which is which has not included in you know, this unit. So rural, in Asian countries, that rural development, how it is that? So uh, you know, uh, rural development in Asia about that, you know, they are discussing. Which are the countries? In Asia, they, they are, uh, you know, discussing about, you have, you can read that in each and, these are the countries, Malaysia, Philippines, Southeast, Asian, Southeast uh, Asian countries, Nepal, Pakistan, Bangladesh, Sri Lanka. Okay, then... Uh, how the rural development, what are the uh, you know, you know, policies they, are, they have adopted about that? Now, Malaysia, Sri Lanka, question comes. And uh, yes, sometimes in you know, Bangladesh also. Malaysia, 100%. Okay, question will come. So, uh, what are the rural development program existing there? In Malaysia, there is population... 25.1 million in 2004. 25.1. We are talking about Malaysia. See, rural development, Asian countries. We talked a lot about India. Isn't it? And your book is itself is rural development. So rural development, not only in India, what about other? You should know about other countries also, you know? Because if you, uh, unless you know what is going on outside, you know, then it will be difficult. Okay. So, Malaysia's population in 2004, now I think 20, almost, you know, 19 years back, it was 25.1 million and 30, 38%, 38% of the population resides in rural area in Malaysia. Okay. Now, they are given a chart. Population and selected social, because, you know, minutely very light printing, you know, very difficult. And not only that, I have to go according to your books, you know. Not our, within, whatever knowledge we are having, that is not sufficient, you know. According to your books, we have to go, you know, because the question will be asked like that. So, population and selected social indication to South and Southeast Asia. In that, many countries they have given Bangladesh, India, Nepal, Pakistan, Sri Lanka, 
and uh, in south east asia indonesia lao pdr Malaysia, Philippines, Thailand, Vietnam. So they have given percentage, population below poverty, adult literacy of uh, in these countries, and life expectancy at birth, life expectancy of these countries. So 61, 73, what is that? Malaysia is having the, what about India? India 63.7 and but of course this is uh, many years ago and uh, which is that year 2002 and uh, like that so anyway so they have given this type of column population of these countries annual population rural population population below poverty line BPL and adult literacy and uh, life expectancy at birth they have given a table so you can see comfortably Another table they have given, Malaysia's sectoral contribution to GDP in Malaysia. GDP, sectoral. That is, you know, or, uh, one one sector is there, no? that is uh, agricultural, forestry and fishing, mining and curing, curry, and manufacturing, construction services. So they have given 1970, 1980, 1990, 1995, 2000, all this, they are given Malaysia's sectoral contribution to GDP, that percentage they are given. Malaysia's national development planning, they give, that also one paragraph they are given, uh, what are, uh, you know, they are, the national planning, how they are doing in Malaysia, every five years they are making like our uh, Panchaval Sarabhadadi, you know, five-year plan. In Malaysia, also like that. So, about that, they had discussed. We are also doing that, though. No? Malaysia, also every five years. Now, new economic policy of Malaysia. Uh, the Malaysia, you have to read properly, you have to understand the thing. Read it two, three, four, even four times also, five times also. Okay. Green Revolution. Malaysia. Nabar, village. Outline, okay, draw it up. Okay. Yes, Mahila Kosh, village and women, Malaysia. Again, question. Okay. So, why I am telling this it's a lesson is very, very important. Definitely, the question will be there. You have to read the textbook properly. Malaysian rural development scheme, you have to carefully read. Now, new economy policy of Malaysia. What is that? Eradicating poverty among all the Malaysians and respective of race and restructuring Malaysian society so that, you know, identification of race with economic uh, functions and uh, geographical location is reduced and eventually eliminated. Eliminated. Okay. So, new economic policy of Malaysia they included like this. Then, uh, you know, NDP, that is National Development uh, Policy, National Development Policy, and uh, that is, you know, uh, set to become a faulty development nation by the year 2020. Uh, sorry, sorry, sorry. Uh, NDP set to become a fully developed nation by 2020. They have written these old uh, this thing, statistic. So their policy was by 2020, they will become fully developed a nation. I don't know whether it is fully developed or not. So far, I don't know. Uh, they have achieved that or not. But they have projected that. But one thing, projection should be there. Then only you can achieve something, you know. Suppose if it is not today, tomorrow we can achieve, you know. So, then government initiative related rural development. Which is that, okay, vision is there. Okay, rural development. Then here, what are the uh, transformation took place? Poverty redressal program, rural infrastructure and amenities, resettlement of villages, development of estate and plantation, rural industrial activities. Okay, this type of things uh, they have started. Uh, Malaysia, what is that? 
there is ministry of rural and regional development we are also having ministry of rural development we are also having and uh, rural development programs also many many rural development programs are, you will be confused if i tell the program which we are having because that much program we are having whether people are benefited or not we don't know but that much so but there is a ministry also rural development ministry it is uh, under rural development ministry panchayat raj system is coming very big ministry and uh, you know uh, rural development ministry is giving funds everything to grant in need uh, a grant loan whatever is there you know to uh, panchayat and you know and they are uh, identifying the best panchayat also in the country so ministry of rural development and uh, regional development also also the this is about malaysia okay now current program this is their plan you know like our five year plan as i told no this is rural economic activity rural economic financing and uh, uh, rural uh, women how they are living and how they are living condition and uh, marketing and a promotion program about that they discuss okay now poverty eradication programs in malaysia yes yeah, they have chalked out certain plan it is their own name rakayat term is kin like they like i don't know what is their language actually okay malaya language then poverty eradication then very important thing which i am going to tell mindset change development program mindset change development of program anybody can say what is this can you just tell mind set change development program then that na parayan pattu anybody can say bureaucrats in a mindset maarumbol avaru kudala active aayittu aville ingane development programs le corruptions onnum illade ha aakan pattum adu government nanna cheyana thonnundengil aalkaru adin anusarichu nikkuvallo okay Uh, that that is you know we are talking about generally we have to uh, change our mindset for for you know uh, uh, you know for various you know uh, you know uh, improvement or development or whatever is the one example i am just telling you here especially uh, in our particular state see what happened we have to change our mindset that about the interest towards industry the trade union trade union activity that's a change of mindset trade union trade union is a fundamental right there is no doubt about it but there are certain criteria you do we have to keep in mind so we have to change our mindset then only more investment will come more industrialist you know they will start a many 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 you know industry by way of which by way of which uh, people will we can generate employment and out flow outgoing people you know we can uh, you know control to a certain extent the mindset we to change because why i told this matter you know when we are in our state our mindset is something when we are going outside the state we are a very 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 you know we are changing our you know attitude mind everything why it is so and even the matter to you one separate time late rajiv gandhi visited anapi in a meeting he told that you have produced the best you know the most brilliant you know you are having india kerala is having most brilliant people even in spite of having this brilliant people why you are not i think you know proper you know industrial climate uh, pro- not existing because we are all eager to close the factory instead of starting why it is so and he was also quoting that generally in india in all you know administration 
you, know, you can see the top, you know, people from this locality. Then he was also telling that my own private secretary is from Kerala. My mother's private secretary was in Kerala. And uh, not only that, my grandfather's secretary was also in Kerala. And, uh, you know, like that, you know, and uh, we consider, uh, you know, uh, this type of, you know, your contribution to, but you should contribute all this, you know, to your state as well. So, you, we have to change our mindset. I hope uh, nobody will object to, to this. Why I'm telling this? Because when we are in Kerala, we are, uh, you know, sometimes, you know, we are adopting certain practice and uh, we are just, you know, either our principle or whatever is there. But uh, when we move to some other countries or other states, altogether we are changing. If I am wrong, kindly tell me. Okay. Now, uh, this, uh, you know, not only that, you know, we are producing results and uh, every word and we prove whether it is an army, whether it is in some other area, defense area. Now you're telling who is the uh, ISRO secretary from our place only, no? Earlier also our place also. Uh, to, before that also Madhav Nair. Before that also Radha Krishnan. Before, you know, so many, so many, so many, so many. So we are producing best, 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 best person. But only thing what I to, even Professor M.G. came in, who appointed me in the government actually when uh, 1976. He is uh, perhaps after Baba, the greatest scientist. He is also from, he was, now he is late, from our, this beautiful state. So what happened? We have to change our mindset and we have to contribute a lot for our state's development, industrial development as well. What knowledge we are having, we have to utilize those knowledge and we have to just help the state also to grow. Now, I am not telling that state is not a progress. I never said that. But little more, you know, we can contribute so that, you know, uh, not that, you know, we are an IT, we have, we have got 30,000 people in Info Park or some other thousand. That is only service sector, please. Okay. Yeah, I am talking about the industry, heavy industry or whatever is there. Okay. How many industry you can point out, except uh, Cochin Shipyard. Okay. And remember, Cochin Shipyard is a public sector undertaking. Okay. Not that, you know, others also making operational profit. Others also making operational profit. I'm not telling like that. But this is my only just observation. Next. Agriculture development program, land and regional development program, rural community development program. What is that? Training should be given to the people, you know. So, because what happened, the government is offering a lot of incentives. So, yeah, training and education is also essential. I told you, the mindset I already told you, poverty eradication I told you, income generation, we have to create income generation and a building facility. Okay, then, uh, you know, this, uh, yes, okay. Then uh, another aspect is uh, dietary food, nutritious food, that also should be there. Then financial assistance is to be given to the needy persons, actually. Because, you know, many, many pension or welfare schemes are there, announced by the state government or whatever is there. But that should reach to the needy people uh, in time. Then community development program. Then another thing, rural development in perspective, that you can read nothing in there actually. Then rural development, Sri Lanka. Sri Lankan population is 18.9 million. You know, this is the 2002 census. 18.9 and uh, then another aspect which i want to convey to you is that the present status of sri lanka is very very bad economic condition due to various reasons okay so it is not their fault also see here one point instead of discussing the rural development in sri lanka it gives a lot of message to other nations as well including india including kerala See, many people who ruled, who was the president and prime minister of Sri Lanka, due to their, you know, mismanagement or whatever is there, it became bankrupt and uh, they were facing financial problems. They also took a loan from China and many other and mortgaged many Sri Lankan properties towards it. 
and it will if it is not paid it will become the including pro port port and many other things and it will become the property of china or similarly some other countries also they took the money they they to repay back then that they should have that much wealth no another aspect is that in unemployment is rising in sri lanka when we talk about the rural development in a very very poor condition okay unemployment is uh, uh, increasing like anything in sri lanka important point only i will discuss another important point of sri lanka is one fourth of sri lankan population remain bpl below poverty line then uh, they have got a lot of program is in sri lanka and so what i am telling i was discussing about uh, you know the taking loan from various countries and other thing mortgaging their own their own uh, property country's property in lieu of it okay that uh, they are facing problem for repayment then rural finance sector development uh, then samruddhi program sri lanka is having in rural development and uh, rural elect- electrification program welfare oriented pro- so many programs are there but that program is implemented or not mid the day meal can i have tell one thing what is mid day meal that is we are providing mid day meal even for one time getting food is horrible task in sri lanka now okay even other other countries including india is supporting okay so schemes are there but they are able to implement or not that is the thing now supplementary mid day meal general minimum needs okay this are uh, mid day okay that is okay general mid day mid day this thing then food and nutrition survey finding in sri lanka and people are not uh, getting nutritious food and uh, you know uh, their survival you know the survey which they made it is not uh, encouraging then another thing is that age composition of members of the household age composition that is also there then free health care service everything they projected but we are provi- they are whether they are getting or not uh, that is the thing actually okay now free health care see there was no medicine india sent the medicine you know in uh, medical shop there was not even no medicine at all in sri lanka for the, i think uh, some months back india also dispatch in many other countries also dispatch remember this okay and because this book was made uh, many years back at that time condition was different then free education yes yes as free education then social security and public assistance and uh, that is also there are many many projections they made to for the improvement of this now coming to bangladesh remember bangladesh also you can expect question bangladesh now bangladesh uh, kindly remember that last 10 minutes i will reserve for your query or whatever is there and uh, uh this is the uh, and the week's uh, schedule this week schedule uh, i think will be completed today then they will reschedule it and some convocation something is going on there actually so i was there actually in the regional center so next schedule they will uh, you know submit or inform the people like the, uh, everybody you know it is like that so it will be recorded and uh, Uh, uploaded in the youtube also later on but don't think that you know uploading in the youtube it will be benefited of, of, okay but uh, uh, you know interaction is more important during such uh, classes because it's master's degree actually so many question naturally you should ra- raise and uh, like that you know what uh, midina told yesterday like navaratna uh, middle all these things you know in the last questions okay then another point which i want to do bangladesh bangladesh 80% of the population below poverty very very serious matter 
now we are going to talk about a rural down in bangladesh so we already just uh, discuss about uh, you know the other country malaysia sri lanka now it is coming to bangladesh remember how bangladesh okay how it was created when it was created where, how, what type of india's role actually for making the nation from east pakistan bangladesh previously it was east pakistan but even after what is that um, how many years uh you know uh, 30 years or something like that uh, yes uh, okay 80% of the bangladesh population is below poverty line okay food and energy okay uh, intake of rural has declined and you know the landless landlords are ah, you know cheating the ordinary people even after more than 30 years of getting independent bangladesh remains one of the poorest country in the world okay rural development what do you understood now 80% of the bangladesh population coming under bpl then real agricultural you know agricultural wage is very very low in bangladesh agricultural wage then some people are having the land other people are having nothing then food and energy consumption are that is also declined public service poor even after more than 30 years of not many years this is old this thing of independence and it poor uh, bangladesh remain one of the poorest countries in the world okay land holding reduce ceiling you know one more thing i am telling you many people are migrated to india also how they are coming oh, i cannot tell here people are coming here and automatically they are becoming they are telling that we are coming from west bengal and other thing how it is that the way i i don't want to tell in the open this thing because of the poverty they are facing they are unable to survive and they don't have industries so many pro- only fishing and other thing something is there and people are traveling to various parts of the you know, not only india outside uh, uh, countries also in search of a job and uh, so this is about uh, uh, you know something about uh, now land reform committee the land reform committee feeling then integrated rural development and uh, you know that uh, integrated rural development of bangladesh irdp previously you know that it was east pakistan and west uh, then there was west pakistan also 1971 there was war between you know india pakistan and at that time it was east pakistan under when prime minister indira gandhi was there okay now nobody remember the you know her contribution also okay why are telling all this thing without uh, her initiative it was bold initiative our army defense people you know they captured east pakistan and declared as a independent country as bangladesh other thing you see the history from my knowledge more than that i can tell but not through this uh, this thing because they have played a vital role and uh, not only that is a very uh, in, during that war one uh, two war at a time east pa- war with the east pakistan war with the west pakistan now our army reached up to raval pindi in uh, west pakistan here and karachi also everything you know lot of things you know happen 1921 lot of things happened by india we was very very successful in our uh, attack or what were the and here also we captured uh, you know uh, from you know, not only that we made it, made it possible to declare uh, bangladesh as an independent country okay so this is uh, about the pakistan but still after that also lot of political problems to mother uh, the present prime minister father mujibur rahman was also assassinated lot of so many issues were there and uh, now it is going on they are ruling and uh, in a asia democratic country and another another thing child care maternity diseases 
ആൻഡ് സ്വീ അവരുടെ ജോബ് തുന്നൽ ഗാർഡനിങ് ആൻഡ് സാനിറ്റേഷൻ സ്വിങ് ദൻ വൺ ഇമ്പോർട്ടൻറ്റ് പോയിന്റ് വിച്ച് ഐ വോണ്ട് ടു ഹൈലൈറ്റ് ഇൻ യു സ്കൂൾ സിംഗ് സിംഗിൾ ടീച്ചർ സ്കൂൾ വൺ സ്കൂൾ ഓൺലി വൺ ടീച്ചർ ഗതിരുടെ മണി ദൻ അഡൽട്ട് ലിറ്ററേഷ ലിറ്ററസി ക്ലാസ്സസ് ആൾസോ ദ പ്രോമിസ് അഡൽട്ട് ലിറ്ററസി ക്ലാസ്സസ് ഓക്കെ ദൻ ബംഗ്ലാദേശ് റൂറൽ ഡെവലപ്മെന്റ് ബോർഡ് ഇസ് ദ കോൺസ്റ്റിറ്റ്യൂട്ട് ബോർഡ് ടു ലുക്ക് ആഫ്റ്റർ ദി ബംഗ്ലാദേശ് റൂറൽ ഡെവലപ്മെന്റ് ദൻ അനദർ തിങ് സോഷ്യൽ സർവീസസ് ദ പ്രൊജക്ട് ദാറ്റ് വി ആർ ആൾസോ ടെല്ലിങ് നോ സോഷ്യൽ സർവീസ് വി വിൽ ഡു ദാറ്റ് ദാറ്റ് ദിസ് ഓക്കെ വി ആർ ഡൂയിങ് നോട്ട് ഓൺലി വി ആർ Uh, we are also you know fulfilling what our promises we are making to a certain extent it is not like that you know we are doing our level but here you see what happened social services bangladesh that is education then health family planning water supply housing income generation program these are the social services they are rendering or they propose so this unit is also over next one is rural development in india so government uh, you know intervention rural development you know first year i told you, you know the planning commission that you know initially india's condition was very very poor and uh, p under pl variety program and uh, you know we were uh, procuring many items from america and other things actually to cater to the needs of the indian people so rural development in india we gave previously it was a small department actually now it has become a full fledged ministry okay so intervention of government then five, our five year plan also now first five year second plan five year, you know how many five year plan now so many you know 13 14 like that you know so uh, it started from 51 okay to 2000 now so many things are the each i said i told you each five year plan certain projections are made and we are fulfilling that nothing uh, we are doing that also okay what is rural development rural development is utilization protection and enhancement of the natural physical and human resources needed to make a long term improvement in rural living conditions in involves okay it involves provision of jobs and income opportunity while maintaining and protecting the environment of rural area this is one okay so what is rural development this is the thing rural development so all all around uh, now what have been lot of uh, appointment is also going on you know state government and other things you know village level panchayat level secretary panchayat secretary block development gram panchayat district panchayat local self government and uh, you know so many other monitoring uh, this thing agencies and other thing ngos so many people are benefiting so community uh, uh, uni- uh, community development program is also there and the main objective of community development program which was started in 1954 uh, 52 october 1952 that is the objectives are as follows one to secure total development of the material and the human resources in rural areas okay to develop a local leadership local leadership see local leadership you know what is that local leadership if you are elected directly as mp what will happen you know what type of question you will ask in the parliament and the parliament proceedings and other thing and adjourns so many you know sessions uh, they, they are having a lot of you know sessions and other thing but just session monsoon session that session. so what happen experience you should have that from the ground level so panchayat is also giving an opportunity that you know to uh, to change your personality to become a good ruler from ga- gram panchayat even ladies are also giving you know because 50% is reserved you can see many panchayat the chairperson is a female only so they are getting opportunity and with the result of which you know lot of our mlas are the mps are the and ministers are the representing female uh, community as well so they are all getting 
you know the training through their you know working in uh, you know panchayat raj system then another objective to develop local leadership i told you the raising living living standard see you just imagine 20 years back 25 years what was our condition actually in the rural sector where no employment no kudumbasri everything comes and at least you know they are getting some income and uh, suppose his husband is sick or physically handicapped and mother and father is very serious what the lady will do now because you know either kudumbasri or some mother uh, community programs or whatever is there lot of benefits uh, everybody is getting and they can they are able to uh, you know survive at least they can meet expenditure to a certain extent isn't it then ensure change in the see to ensure change in the mindset of people automatically mindset has changed you know when you are the president chairperson of a municipality your mindset will change you know you and you are principal of a college your mindset will when you are teacher your mindset is nothing uh, something and when you are uh, principal mindset will change when you are uh, panchayat president your mindset when you are mla your mindset when you are mp your mindset everybody should be able to change you know according to the situation okay now the rise of st- uh, living standard okay national extension service then community development was considered to be people center community development it is relating to the people not that by declaring that we had done that no it should be people centric program then another thing due recognition was given to the importance of planning and interdisciplinary approach then recognition was also given to recruitment of trained personnel in the introduction of technical and technology there is no technical experts in panchayat and other thing sometimes you know we are not recruiting the trained people with the result of which we are unable to do the drawings and many, many things you know the plan planning you know the type of the proper recruitment has to be done and proper training is to be given when you are recruited as a clerk or something like that, you don't know how to operate the computer what is the use of sitting in the counter then okay so proper training is very essential everybody is not uh, you know at least they are having you know, they are having the uh, uh at least qualification or whatever they so no problem but if they are appointed they should undergo the training staff training this thing we are also having kila whatever is there in trichur uh, here and uh, all you know even executive development programs also is there in uh, institute of management government uh, government in management or something like that so we are all giving and when you are joining in bank you know there is staff training college so uh, means passing out or uh, or completing any exam or competing in something result comes you know but even though your training is required because each company works organization works in a different way peculiar way so you should undergo training which is must you cannot say that i don't want training even infosys take the example of infosys which is number 2 it company in the country is when you are recruited when you are recruited in it Additional, you to undergo training in Mysore Training College for six months. They will administer test and you to pass out. Otherwise, again you to reappear. Then recognition was also given to recruit. Okay, training and technology. Then modern technology. See, modern technology. Suppose you know we have to for rural development also. You know, considerable you know changes are taking place due to computerization, digitalization. akshaya all these things you know so proper training is to be given technological input so what you have to do everything how to get the certificate and many other things now you see many things are, are done online getting license and the remitting fee examination fee everything and checking evaluation everything you know conducting omr you know this thing in the UB, ugc net and many other ub uh, examinations you know online examination with the result of which within 10 year or within 15 year uh, sorry within days result can be published you should not forget one point you know engineering exam once you know engineering when we conducted the entrance test for the engineers in kerala within 10 years or 50 uh, sorry within 10 days or 15 days you know result was published i don't know the latest position i don't know 
but is at that time alphonse kanna kannandaram was the controller of examination ias he was the, and within 10 days or 15 days you know result was published so we could achieve this because of you know the handling how the modern technology and other thing now it is now you just imagine go to railway station within a minute then you will get the ticket and uh, you know you can take the ticket uh, from you know wherever you want to travel whether a plane ticket also if you go to uh, travel agent or something anywhere you want to go around the world you know immediately through computerization technological innovation whatever is there we could achieve that so proper training is also required then it resulted establishment of institution agriculture credit agricultural credit society here yeah, one point i just want to tell you agriculture uh, product, this thing you know they are providing loan to the farmers um, with uh, lesser you know uh, you know the interest rate but one thing no bank is giving loan without mortgaging the property okay now what happen if the farm poor farmer take loan if he is not remitting the property will be you can see the newspaper no canara bank union bank property attachment you know you can see that you know so here though they are providing loan but we should be but sometimes farmers will not be able to remit that amount due to bad you know the monsoon and uh, destruction of uh, many other things landslide or many other things you no know? all everything they will lose and they will be they will become more 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 you know hardship and other thing you know then due to that they will not be able to pay but uh, bank will not tolerate because uh, you know if it will become you know non performing asset actually okay so this type of things are there and uh, bank uh, uh, you know they are rendering but it is good if it is repaid uh, within the stipulated period if we are able to repay it is well and good then facility objective self reliance then green revolution phase ms swaminathan you should not forget he played a vital role for making india you know he was working in manila agriculture this you know uni, uh, this thing and um, he played a vital role and uh, he suggested many many uh, gave in lot of ideas for this uh, green revolution phase the end of second five year plan the all this thing it is there now what happen whatever we are seeing you know not only how to cultivate and um, you know where you know we, uh, we are not getting rain what to do what type of crop uh, what type of seed sometimes you know everything they suggested and uh, a particular state every state is not similar some people you know new you see previously chirapunji was having a daily getting the rain chirapunji okay he was getting now they are not getting uh, rain on daily basis the climatic changes are taking place that's why you know uh, you know uh, international seminar is going no g20 or whatever is there you know the so climatic changes the changes are taking place okay then there are block development offices okay they are also helping the farmers you know they they are suggesting many things for their improvement and uh, this is the thing then what is this okay this three okay now uh, then high yield package which uh, that also uh, the block development block Uh, that is gram panchayat above gram panchayat you know the block they are also uh, you know helping uh, various sectors where where various segment uh, how to get the h y v high yield variety you know that uh, uh, this thing also they are suggesting okay high yield variety yeah, high yielding variety then you know uh, yes teaching okay now another thing the main achievement of the green, main achievement of the green revolution phase however was the overall growth of agricultural output was prevented from falling due to introduction of green uh, green uh, you know this thing uh, uh, yes okay revolution the agriculture, ag agriculture production always you know you know prevented uh, from falling now there are setbacks actually in certain areas okay now here 
uneven spread of green revolution led to the growth of marketable surplus in certain pockets of the country such as punjab haryana western up marketable surplus certain area surplus now for example wheat punjab is producing maximum and rice also some other state okay like that you know and then fertilizer seeds pesticide everything you know required and we just you know started many 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 new plants seeds development corporation is there fertilizer corporation is there pesticide hindustan pesticides limited that all these things are you know uh, we okay, completely we just you know started government of india and uh, yes high yielding variety seeds has that is through research we are producing such seeds through research okay now high prices of certain inputs resulting in lower consumption resistance of pest to chemical you know that these are all pesticides and other thing carefully we have to apply that you know use those pesticide chemical pesticides you know whatever is there and farmers should be trained how to use that failing which something you know Uh, some diseases skin disease something will happen ecological imbalance is the ecological imbalance you know our uh, earth the imbalance okay then green revolution also echo farmers to scientific agriculture you see i told you yesterday that the baba atom research center the uh, center bombay through their research uh, they produce certain good seeds and they supplied to the government the agricultural ministry for you know experimenting that and uh, you know uh, that within 3 months you know you you can have this cultivation or whatever is like that so we have got a lot of institutions like that yeah, it is also helping the because you know no uh, so previously it was you know 6 months 8 months like that now it is within 3 months you know everything can be done no special programs in uh, area development of poor farmers and uh, here at present india has only 2.4% of world geographical area in india india has only 2.4% of world geographical area okay but supports 16% of world's population second biggest populated country in the world okay so it has 0.5% world's grazing area okay but over 18% of world cattle population see cattle po- population is 18% but grazing that is kannaligale mekan that is adine nammade 0.5% land ullu kannaligale 18% illa appo angane adhe mari at present india as only 2.4% world geographical area but support 16% of world population 0.5% world grazing area but over 18% of world cattle population then another thing see uh, drought prone yes yeah, there are drought prone areas uh, i will just you know read the heading there are pro- uh, there is no rain in maharashtra Rajasthan, you know, many other area parts of the country in Andhra Pradesh, certain area, Sri Kaulan district, there many other districts, Warangal or whatever is the Telangana. So there are drought. Uh, sometimes water is not. Nowadays, a lot of changes are a lot of uh, uh, program they did and uh, they helped the farmers. Then desert development program. Desert is the in Rajasthan. Then how to develop that? Where how to make the irrigation facilities there? Then another thing. shed the development project for rain fed when rain is taking place you know preservation of the rainy water then another thing the major weaknesses of the implementation are as follows sometimes you know what i mean no land development program is also taking place specific area the land development is taking place but uh, there is no water land is developed without water then soil and ecological problem when you develop a certain uh, you know land development take place ecological problems are coming and uh, water soil everything affects sometimes the major weakness of other implementation are as follows lack of people participation people are not participating 
ओके अनदर अनफेमिलियरिटी ऑफ फील्ड स्टाफ समटाइम ट्रेन पीपल आर नॉट अवेलेबल टू डू द जॉब देन लिमिटेड टाइम फॉर प्रिपरेटरी एक्टिविटीज प्लानिंग फॉर डूइंग द प्लानिंग यू नो दैट लेस टाइम इज अलॉटेड देन लैक ऑफ ट्रांसपेरेंट क्राइटेरिया फॉर सेलेक्टिंग एरियाज इन विलेजेस एंड यू नो व्हाट इज द मेजर प्रॉब्लम सी यू कैन सी फ्रॉम द न्यूज़पेपर विलेज ऑफिसर लाइफ आर दैट यू नो नॉट लाइफ you know every three month four month they are transferred so what type of contribution they will do for the villages actually now if their job is not suppose there is a sub inspector sho that is you know station house officer if you know every week some you know always some crime something committed in the locality and sho is transferred so within one month or two month an sho is like that you know transferred or something like that any hcho will initiate any action or anything or make a policy decisions or something like that by that time he will be transferred so here also uh, this type of things happening and uh, you know the people's participation and uh, not lot unfamily see what happen new whenever new people comes you know what happen one more problem is there when new people joins an adequate experience will not be there this also you have to keep in mind experience uh, al- also required in all area without experience we, people are you know you will be surprised to know when i was working in department of uh, electronics government of india i uh, see some technician who are 10th class or 12th class because of their experience even more than senior engineers and engineers you know they will produce and they will give idea which an ordinary engineer or senior engineer cannot give you a manager that much you know ability that because of the experience that they handled on the job they were having okay so experience then lack of transparent criteria and plethora of watershed program different sometimes conflicting guidelines that is also the problem we guidelines are not clear what to do how to do when to do that is also guidelines uh, they are issuing like this and nobody knows how to implement it that is also there no and um, yes rural poverty i don't think much uh, explanation is required in uh, we are having small farmers we are also having big farmers nowadays you know small and big are same only because of uh, various reasons okay and uh, but one thing states like andhra pradesh and many other area punjab big 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 farmers are there even jammu kashmir apple producing himachal pradesh apple producing farmer means not only agriculture even idiki and other thing coffee chai everything you know there are the farmers you know so there are big farmers then there are small farmers also rubber also big rubber land holders are there okay so integrated rural development we prefer integrated rural development program we prefer okay then uh what is the training of rural youth for self employment another aspect is that uh, see <clears throat> we are having a lot of youth whether it is female or male in our villages rural areas they should be trained for skill development we have to do that because what happen so, so that they can get some job outside or uh, within the uh, you know say operation of akshaya or some other or some, where they will get some income and they can survive so training of this type of people for rural youth for self development so then they are developing themselves and when they get job or and when they get knowledge and other thing they can go outside also they can do earn better salary okay that is also the then wage employment program national rural employment uh, yes yeah, jawhar rozgar yojana here what happens 6th and 7th plan Un- underemployed okay sometimes you know rural area through creation of economic infrastructure and community and social asset initially yeah, jawhar lal nehru what is that ye yeah, jawhar rozgar yojana that is you know, indira was you know, no it is amalgamated 
എട്ടു സമാധാന യോജന പ്രധാനമന്ത്രി സംതിങ് സംതിങ് ദൻ കിണർ ഒഴികൽ വാട്ടർ ഈസ് നോട്ട് അവൈലബിൾ വെൽ ഈസ് നോട്ട് ദ മില്യൺ വെൽ സ്കീം ഈസ് ദർ ബിക്കോസ് ദീസ് ആർ ഓൾ നോ കമ്പൈൻ വിത്ത് മെനി മെനി പ്രോഗ്രാംസ് യു വോണ്ട് ടു നോ മോർ ഡീറ്റെയിൽസ് ഐ വിൽ ടെൽ യു ഇൻ ദ നെക്സ്റ്റ് ക്ലാസ് സോ മെനി പ്രോഗ്രാംസ് ആർ സോ ദീസ് വാട്ട് ഓവർ ഐ ആൻഡ് ടെല്ലിങ് uh when the new government came into power so many programs are uh, linked with uh, you know many other programs announced by the present government actually okay so food work program that is component of, okay now wage employment program uh, program described above uh, you know benefit of rural area through formal activity one is creation of rural infrastructure for employment infrastructure facility if you want to start akshaya you should have the table chair and the computer and the, the connectivity the for that money is not required so creation demand of labor where labor is skilled people are available then assurance for paying minimum then they should get the salary also minimum wages should be paid then upward pressure on real wages sometimes you know the worker will ask more salary because they are working beyond the normal office hours then fine and panchayat and other thing real wages and violation material labor norm 60 40 inadequate employment uh, then master roll non payment then one thing is also the sometimes you know in, in in spite of working you know sometimes some people are not getting salary and uh, you know that is also a problem is there so the labor department they have to take care of that separate labor act is also prevalent now i will take why 6 minutes only current status of rural development and uh, municipality has got its own scheme sampurna gramin rozgar yojana now sampurna mean integrated rural development sampurna gramin yojana already we discussed then what is that swarna uh, jayanti grama saro sarodgar yojana sgst all are you know related to rural development only many 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 new new schemes how to help the people that is the thing more detail you, just you can read that very simple and see only to improve their living standard you know some you know we are digging out certain well and uh, you know some help we are rendering and education schools and everything providing you know uh, a telephone connectivity gas cylinder supplying all these these are all coming under various program the long term hand holistically participation then right information already so whatever we are doing we are subject to uh, you know people can uh, they can ask a question from us what you have done and how much money you spend then social mobilization for that everybody should be participated everybody should be engaged while doing so suppose enumeration of census everything people should be involved and people make aware, proper awareness otherwise if you go in your house where how many cats are there uh, if you ask like this how many cows are there male how many kids where widow all these things you know, sometimes people will, will not be happy to give the answer so proper and how to ask the question you to mold the people accordingly so this is the thing which i want to highlight green revolution and new technologies and farmers uh, should be trained to how to operate the tractor and many other you know uh, combustion uh, this thing and uh, you know everything proper training should be given and uh, then whenever they produce something proper market should uh, also the price should be given to them otherwise they will suffer suppose if somebody is producing uh, what is that apple and nobody is there to purchase in uh, karnataka once upon a time apple uh, sorry they produce uh, tomato 1 rupee kilo so ha- farmer how much loss you see you know for cultivation of uh, tomato they must have incurred 10 rupees something and you are getting market price 1 rupee and the milk in karnataka they were just th- uh, throwing you know this all this thing you know on the road because they were not getting the milk price the so tomato also many other things also so we have to ensure the government state government or central government or whatever authority uh, you know they should ensure proper you know uh, market for their products also so that they will get some benefit and that uh, you know income 
they can divert or they can use for further uh, you know cultivation or whatever is there uh, they will not have any you know no need to take any loan from the bank or something and loan is a liability always you know we will have problems actually for paying interest and etc so this unit is also over now let me cut short and the this is the last now we have covered uh, many many uh, areas in uh, i think the book number 2 is over yes okay very good the book number 2 is over so yes book number 2 is over 73 pages so that is also over so thank you very much for patiently listening to me i am very very grateful to you yes, without any you know uh, in uh, this thing you were uh, listening to my this thing uh, for the last few days and uh, uh we hope that uh, they will schedule the next session i will try to contribute uh, whatever I, it is possible from my side thank you very much and uh, all best wishes okay right